how's everyone doing? I am Mobile Master Tech, also known as Terrell352. And right now, what you're seeing a, it's called Project Excalibur. It's a T, it's only for Georgia and Florida markets. T-Mobile is ripping and replacing all Nokia equipment from Florida markets and giving it to Ericsson. You will see Ericsson stuff all over here. Helicopter C-Band, do you see that? Stop it, FAA, stop it. Anyways, uh, so right now what you're seeing is a conversion. And this tower current uh, used to have, you know, band two, band 71, N71, band 66, band 41 at uh, 40 megahertz and N41 at 60. It was the older Nokia, so it couldn't go past that. Now it's getting the Ericsson 6449s. So it will come in at 100 megahertz and likely a extra 20 megahertz channel for NR as well since we've seen that today. Uh, the 120 megahertz is live, but it's not aggregated yet. I don't know if it's a device problem. I have a Z Fold 3 T-Mobile version or if it's a um, tower problem where that part isn't enabled yet but we will see. Anyways, right now, my home tower is having to do double duty and it can come over here with 100 megahertz, hold on, without issue. Well, it was just there, it's trying to make a liar out of me, but uh, give me a second, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, here it is. 100 megahertz, that's my home tower, no problem. Now. Let's do a speed test. I was wondering why the speeds at my home tower dropped significantly. Instead of doing you know, four or 500, it was doing a lot less. So T-Mobile's density is very good in my market. The Sprint Keep sites, they have 20 of them in my county. Uh, it's gonna just help with that. Right now, as of right now, there's not a single Sprint Keep site that has been upgraded yet. And you can see the limitations of N41 on the upload coming from my home tower, but the downloads not having an issue. Since SACA just so happened to be enabled today, let's see if that makes a difference. Cause right now my home tower, uh, everything checks out except for that, the upload and the packet loss. That's really bad. You don't want to see that. So let's go ahead and see. Also they did enable uh, Sprint on this tower for me to use. It's using 120 megahertz channel band 41 and 110 megahertz channel band 41. It is also using band uh, 25 and it's using at 10 megahertz and band 26 at five. And just a, an announcement, if you didn't know, if you've been keeping track with the channel, the PLMN for Sprint keep sites was I think 312 250 as of today at least in my market they changed it to the exact same plmn as t-mobile towers whereas towers that won't be keep sites have been changed they stay sprint separate ones so it hands off now like it is a true t-mobile tower even though it's using different uh spectrum except for the band 41, which they let, would they actually uh, switch that to the same band 41 frequencies as T-Mobile's using for their LTE band 41. So that's cool. That's cool to see. And hopefully we start seeing the first keep conversions really soon. But as of right now, uh, I, don't, I don't see any. I've been to all the towers to make sure they're not there. Well, uh, We'll get a handle on it. We'll see what happens. All right, so this is my home tower. It is reaching, no problem. Um, this is day one, so there could be issues. I'm gonna, hey, I'm just putting it out there. There may be issues. Let's see real quick. Let's run it here. Yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing issues right now. This is day one though. So just like Verizon is having issues with C-band over here, 
I'm gonna give them a couple of days to sort this out. Closer to home, I don't have a problem, it will work. But as you get further away, I've no, which is the point of this, uh, it starts having problems, particularly on my tower, nowhere else. The other towers seem to work fine. It could be because this tower is down and it's, it's messing everything up. I'm not sure, but you can see right there, it is aggregating this N71. There it is, right there. It should be able to do something. It is not, which is disappointing, but it is what it is. Anyways, that's just a quick network update for you guys. Before I go though, let's, uh, I know there's been some, you know, some chatter around uh, Verizon and T-Mobile, especially T, well, T-Mobile, not being able to download videos um, as fast as Verizon. Now I can't test that right now, but what I can do is go into my Netflix account and download a video really quick and just see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up to the Ozarks because I actually am about to start re-watching. Well, not re-watching, I have to watch season three, the Ozarks. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll go to download now and you're gonna see live. Now this is you know, normally the college would take this, but there's no equipment up there. It's gone. And they just enabled the Sprint, which is on the second rack, to take its place. So my tower is having to handle this, you know, from further away than it normally would have to. Not to give T-Mobile excuses or nothing, but there, I mean, it's right there. This is not a typical scenario which is nice to see. So as you can see, this is a, it's about an hour long of a video and it's at 60, 73% now, 72. It's a very bright day today, which Florida has been unusually cold the past couple of days. Almost done, less than two minutes, so to download our video, I'm, I'm not mad at it. Okay, it's done. One hour, four minutes, it's done. All right, and that should do it for the video. If you like what you see on the channel, I need you to please hit the like, share, subscribe button. It will help me out greatly. Um, follow me on Twitter at Terrell352, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, I'm out.